Hi there! This video is here to help you multiply fractions by fractions. Let's have a quick reminder all about fractions. A fraction is a number that represents part of a whole. A fraction has a numerator and a denominator. The denominator tells us how many equal parts the whole is divided into and the numerator tells us how many of those parts we have. So in this rectangle showing three quarters, the whole rectangle is divided into four equal parts and three of them are shaded blue. We can use the area of a rectangle to help us to understand how to multiply fractions. Remember, when we are calculating the area of a rectangle, we multiply the length by the width. To multiply three quarters by two thirds, we can represent it with an area model. To represent three quarters, we need to split the rectangle into four equal pieces and shade three of those pieces. To represent two thirds, we need to split the rectangle into three equal pieces and shade two of the pieces. When we combine these to represent two thirds multiplied by three quarters, the area shaded green is the area representing both the length, three quarters, and the width, two thirds. In our model, there are 12 equal sections in total, and six of the sections are shaded green, so six twelfths of the model is green. The sections shaded green represent the answer to our question, as this is where the two diagrams overlap. This means that three quarters of the rectangle multiplied by two thirds of the rectangle equals six twelfths of the rectangle. Three quarters multiplied by two thirds equals six twelfths. What do you notice about the numerators in the multiplicand, the multiplier and the product? What do you notice about the denominators in the multiplicand, the multiplier and the product? Looking at the numerators, 3 multiplied by 2 equals 6. Looking at the denominators, 4 multiplied by 3 equals 12. So when we multiply fractions, we can multiply the numerators to find the numerator and then multiply the denominators to find the denominator. Finally, we need to check if we can simplify our answer. 6 twelfths can be simplified to 1 half. So 3 quarters multiplied by 2 thirds equals 1 half. If you need a reminder about simplifying fractions, you can watch the simplifying fractions video to help. Now it's your turn. Remember the steps. Multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, and then check if you can simplify the answer. Pause the video while you answer the calculations and come back when you're ready to check. Let's check your answers. How did you get on? If you need a recap of how you should have answered these questions, you can always rewind the video. Now for the final challenge. Can you identify the missing digits in this calculation? Pause now while you solve it. How did you get on? Check your answer and fix any mistakes. Pause again if you need a closer look. I hope this video has helped you to understand how to multiply fractions by fractions. If you still need more maths help, then make sure to check out our other videos on the Twinkle website. Thank you for watching! Hi, this video is here to help you with multiplying fractions by integers. Remember, a fraction has a numerator and a denominator. The denominator tells us how many equal parts the whole is divided into, and the numerator tells us how many of those equal parts we have. An integer is a whole number, for example, 1753974. Before multiplying fractions by integers, you may find it useful to have a reminder of adding fractions with the same denominator simplifying fractions and converting improper fractions to mixed numbers. You can use our videos to help you recap. Let's have a look at an example together. 4 multiplied by 1 fifth. 1 fifth can be represented by this bar model. The bar needs to be split into 5 equal pieces and we need to shade one of them. 
Because we are multiplying by 4, we need 4 lots of 1 fifth. Remember, multiplication is the same as repeated addition, so 4 multiplied by 1 fifth can also be thought of as 1 fifth add 1 fifth add 1 fifth add 1 fifth. Now we can see that 4 of the 5 equal pieces are shaded, so 4 multiplied by 1 fifth equals 4 fifths. Let's have a look at another example. 1 third multiplied by 7. Again, we can represent the fraction using a bar model. Using repeated addition, 1 third multiplied by 7 is the same as 1 third add 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 1 third. So in our bar model, we need 7 lots of 1 third. 1 third multiplied by 7 equals 7 thirds. We can see from the bar model that the 7 thirds is greater than 1 whole. We have 2 complete bars and an additional section. This equals 2 and 1 third, so 7 thirds equals 2 and 1 third. Let's have a recap of the two calculations we've completed so far. 4 multiplied by 1 fifth equals 4 fifths and 1 third multiplied by 7 equals 7 thirds, which equals 2 and 1 third. What do you notice about the integers and the numerators in the fractions? That's right. The integer multiplied by the numerator equals the numerator in the answer. So 4 multiplied by 1 equals 4 and 1 multiplied by 7 equals 7. The denominator remains the same. When we're multiplying a fraction by an integer, we need to multiply the numerator by the integer. The denominator remains the same. We might then need to simplify the fraction answer to convert it to a mixed number. So far, we've looked at multiplying unit fractions where the numerator is 1. Let's use our same steps to multiply a non-unit fraction where the numerator is greater than 1. 5 multiplied by 3 quarters. In a bar model, we need 4 equal sections and 3 of them need to be shaded. Because we are multiplying 3 quarters by 5, we need 5 lots of 3 quarters. If we count the shaded sections, we can see that we have 15 quarters, so 5 multiplied by 3 quarters equals 15 quarters. In our bar model, we can combine these quarters so that we fill each bar. We now have the 3 whole bars and an additional 3 sections shaded, so we can see that the 15 quarters equal 3 and 3 quarters. If we use our calculation steps to work this out, we would start by multiplying the numerator, 3, by the integer, 5. 5 multiplied by 3 equals 15. Next, we keep the denominator the same, 4. Finally, we check if we can simplify the answer or convert it to a mixed number. 15 quarters is greater than 1 whole, so we can convert it to a mixed number. If we divide 15 by 4, we get 3 with a remainder of 3, so 15 quarters is 3 wholes with an additional 3 quarters. 15 quarters equals 3 and 3 quarters. Now it's your turn. Complete these calculations. You can draw fraction bars to help you if you need to. Pause now and restart when you're ready to check your answers. All done, time to check your answers. Pause again if you want to take a closer look. 1 ninth multiplied by 6 equals 6 ninths, which is equivalent to 2 thirds. 15 multiplied by 1 eighth equals 15 eighths, which is equivalent to 1 and 7 eighths. 5 multiplied by 5 six equals 25 six, which is equivalent to 4 and 1 sixth. <laughs> Now for a challenge question. At a pizza and movie party, pizzas are cut into six slices and every child in the class is given four slices. If there are 30 children in the class, how many pizzas are needed? Pause now while you identify the calculation needed and work out how many pizzas they need to order. How did you get on? The pizzas are cut into six and each child is given four slices so each child gets four sixths of a pizza. There are 30 children in the class so we need to calculate four sixths multiplied by 30. 
four six multiplied by 30 equals 126, which is equivalent to 20. So 20 whole pizzas are needed to feed all of the children at the pizza and movie party. I hope this video helped you understand how to multiply fractions by integers. If you need more help with maths, head over to the Twinkle website for more videos just like this one. Bye for now.